Hi and welcome to Vintage Doll Collector. I know it's been a long time since I posted a video. Hope you are all well and safe. Today I want to share with you a little mini haul of Maud era Barbie and Dawn stuff I picked up recently from an ad on Facebook. Almost everything was made in 1970. Here are Dawn and three of her friends. The doll on the left is Dawn's friend Dale. She's wearing her original mini dress. Here's a closer look at her. These dolls are only six and a half inches tall, but they all have rooted eyelashes. Dawn is the doll in the hot pink dress, which is called Shocker Frocker. It originally came with a little French telephone, which is very hard to find. I found this dress several times over the years and never found the phone. Next to Dawn is her red-headed friend Glory. The blue dress is her original outfit. The brunette doll on the right is Angie. Her original dress was all torn, so I put her in this evening gown, which is called Gold Glow Swirl. It has a little matching wrap. She's a beautiful doll. I also got a couple of other outfits for them. Tangerama tunic is the top and pants. It has a little bit of damage, but the pants are in pretty good shape. The groovy mini dress is called Socket to Me. 1970 was the first year Dawn was made. This is the best part, the shoes that go with all the outfits. The tiny hot pink purse for Shocker Frocker is in here too. Dawn's shoes are so small, they are very often lost. I'm keeping them all in this little jewelry box until I'm ready to display the dolls so I don't lose them. These are the little stands that came with each doll. The prongs insert into the holes of their feet, right through the shoes. They don't stand up too well on these though, they kind of lean to one side. Now the Barbie stuff. First of all, there's this World of Barbie doll trunk, which is in pretty good shape. I don't have this blue version, so I'll be keeping it. This is what I found inside. This is Talking Barbie from 1970. She had a different hairstyle and outfit than the Talking Barbie from the previous two years. She has a beautiful face, and I don't think I have a platinum blonde with this hairstyle. She has her pull string, but doesn't talk, of course. She came wearing this mommy-made knit outfit. See how one leg is much longer than the other? That's because, like many of the Mod era dolls, she has a broken hip joint. It's completely disconnected. These can be repaired, although I haven't tried it yet. Have you? Here's Twist and Turn PJ first issued in 1970. She's missing her sunglasses and the bead wraps for her hair. Both her hips are good though. She came in this mommy made jumpsuit. Here are the original outfits for the two dolls. PJ's is the hot pink mini dress and it's in good shape. Talking Barbie came in the bikini with the lace cover up. The swimsuit is frayed and the cover-up has a hole in it. This is Talking Ken, also called New Good Looking Talking Ken. He was the same doll as the previous year, but he has a new outfit. I have him already, but this is my favorite Ken head mold, so I'll probably keep him. He doesn't talk either. I also got this Barbie Hair Fair head. She has a beautiful face. Unfortunately, there's some sticky stuff in her hair and eyelashes. I'll try to pick that out carefully. She still has the original earrings, too. Her ears have not turned green. Maybe that's not as big a problem with the Mod Era dolls as with the earlier vintage Barbies. I hate to take them out, but I probably should. Don't want to take any chances. Here are some of her original accessories. A few hair pieces and a couple of bobby pins. She also came with this blonde wig. I think I'll give the wig to one of my Fashion Queen dolls, though. There were a whole bunch of hand-knit outfits included in the lot. Some of them, like the tan sweater, are way too big for Bobby and Ken, but might fit other dolls. 
This winter outfit with the angora trimmed hood and mittens is cute. These boots match, but I won't put them on a doll. I'll hang them up for Christmas stockings instead. This cable knit sweater is too big for Ken. Might fit Dr. Little Chap, though. This sweater has a matching hat. Here's a cable knit coat. It's nice work, but I think a short sleeve coat is a little strange. Here's a cute two piece outfit striped sweater and skirt. There are some hand sewn outfits, too. What Barbie lot is complete without a wedding dress? This plaid pants and vest just needs the right blouse. The same plaid fabric in a different color made up a jacket and pants. A few miscellaneous pieces here, not sure if they're worth saving. Now let me show you some of the cool Mattel made outfits that came with the lot. This one's called Maxi and Mini. It's not in perfect condition. There's some damage to the coat and the belt as you can see here. But I'm very happy to have gotten the boots in such nice shape. These are often faded to silver. The dress is cute too, a metallic knit. This outfit is called Dinner Dazzle, and it was part of a Sears exclusive gift set that came with a talking Barbie doll. However, it didn't come with the talking Barbie doll I got in this lot. It was sold in 1968 and came with the earlier version of Talking Barbie. So that's a bit of a mystery. Did they sell some of these gift sets later on with this second version of the doll? Or did the original owner have two Talking Barbies? Anyway, it's in lovely shape. It has real fur trim on the collar. I think I may already have the blouse that goes with it. Unfortunately, my Barbie collection is very disorganized right now. Here's another Sears exclusive gift set outfit. This is swinging in silver and came with the twist and turn PJ. This outfit's complete. The dress isn't quite perfect, but the coat and boots are beautiful. It's cool that PJ can have an outfit tagged with her own name instead of wearing Bobby's clothes all the time. This is a Sears exclusive outfit for Ken, not from a gift set, but sold separately. It's called Casual All-Stars and includes lots of mix and match pieces. It came with long and short sleeve shirts, two pairs of pants, and a pair of swim trunks. There was a lot of variation in this set. The coat could be yellow or blue and felt or vinyl or flocked. The ties were various prints. I have only one sock, but otherwise it's complete. Got another Ken outfit too. This is called Play It Cool and it's complete. Don't you love the plaid pants? I'm very happy I got a couple of nice outfits for my Kens to wear. They get cold in the winter in their swimsuits. This felt jacket will keep them warm. There are several pairs of Bobby shoes here too. I'll have to go through and figure out which ones go with which dolls or outfits. Some of them might go to Francie outfits. Check this out. This is Ken's electric razor missing its cord. The bar of soap feels like it's made of wax. And one of Barbie's tiny hairbrushes. These pieces were included with various Ken and Barbie outfits. I love finding these little accessories. Thanks for going through this Mod Era mini haul with me today. If you want to be notified when I have new videos posted, click the subscribe button and the little bell icon. See you next time.